Huawei might be making a bold move with its next flagship lineup, the Mate 80 series and the upcoming second-generation trifold phone. Reports suggest that these devices could completely ditch the traditional SIM card slot and go fully eSIM. This means no more inserting or removing physical SIM cards. Everything would be handled digitally through an embedded SIM inside the phone. If this happens, Huawei could become the first brand in China to launch a smartphone that relies entirely on eSIM technology. This would put the company ahead of global competitors like Apple, which is also rumored to be working on eSIM-only devices for the Chinese market. Currently, Huawei smartphones do offer eSIM support, but they also come with a physical SIM card. Slot, the change this year would be a significant shift, with the Mate 80 series and the new trifold device possibly being the first Huawei models to remove the SIM card slot entirely. This development is especially interesting because Apple was expected to take the lead in China with the iPhone 17 Air, which was rumored to be the country's first eSIM-only smartphone. But if Huawei moves faster, it could snatch that title away from Apple. One of Huawei's supply chain insiders has even suggested that if the company launches its second-generation triple-fold phone with only as in support, it will officially be the first in China to do so. That would be a major marketing win for Huawei, giving it a chance to claim a new first in the smartphone industry. Adding to the excitement, many tipsters are saying that the Mate 80 series won't just stop at ESIM. It could also introduce improved satellite communication features, giving users better connectivity in remote areas where mobile networks aren't available. The upcoming second-generation trifold, expected to debut in September, is also rumored to come with the same full ESIM functionality and enhanced satellite capabilities. But Huawei isn't the only Chinese brand heading in this direction. OPPO is also reportedly preparing to launch new smartphones with ESIM capability. These could be released by the end of the year, potentially giving consumers more options in the ESIM-only category. Even China's Science and Technology Innovation Board Daily has reported that the new triple-folding Huawei phone could become the first fully ESIM smartphone in the country. This kind of coverage shows that the move is being taken seriously in the tech industry, and Huawei seems determined to take the lead. Of course, the big question is whether all Mate 80 series models will come with ESIM-only support or if Huawei will keep the feature exclusive to one or to high-end variants. This detail hasn't been confirmed yet, so we'll have to wait. For official announcements in the coming days or weeks, the shift to ESIM brings several benefits. Without a SIM tray, phones can be made slightly slimmer, and the internal space save can be used for larger batteries or improved cooling systems. It also means fewer moving parts, which can make devices more resistant to dust and water. For consumers, it could make switching between carriers or managing multiple numbers more convenient. Everything could be done through software without needing to visit a store for a new SIM card. However, not everyone may welcome the change. Immediately, some users still prefer physical SIM cards because they're familiar and can be easily swapped between devices without depending on internet access. There's also the concern about how quickly carriers in certain regions will fully adopt ESIM technology. While China's networks are already supporting it, some users might face a learning curve. Still, Huawei's decision could set the tone. For the next generation of smartphones, if it works well and is well received, other brands in China could quickly follow, making ESIM the standard rather than the exception. Apple, Oppo, and others would be pushed to accelerate their own plans. To keep up, for now, all eyes are on Huawei's September event, where the second-gen trifold is expected to debut. If the rumors are true, we could see the official announcement of Huawei's first ESIM-only device, with the Mate 80 series following shortly after. This would not only mark a big step in the company's hardware evolution, but could also shift the competitive landscape in China's high-end smartphone market. Whether or not all Mate 80 models adopt the change, the possibility of Huawei beating Apple to the punch in its home country is a storyline that will be hard for tech enthusiasts to ignore. And if satellite communication is indeed included, the Mate 80 could become one of the most versatile flagship smartphones of the year. As we get closer to launch day, we can expect more leaks and confirmations to surface. Until then, the big question remains, will Huawei officially become the first brand in China to go completely ESIM? And will this be the start of a new era for smartphones in the region? The answer might come sooner than we think.